Hi everyone, Michelle Markey with Medina Domestic Arts Studio. And um, Kitty has come out of the dryer after being washed and um, the unicorn spit came out. I'm just gonna cut through the chase here. And I'm on their website right now and I want to read you what they say. It says, for permanent fabric use, mix one part unicorn spit with one to 20 parts fabric medium, apply. Allow to cure following the fabric medium manufacturer's directions before use. Apply a second coat of untreated fabric medium for high traffic surfaces such as upholstered fabric. So, I, you know, I rushed this yesterday. I'm going to be honest with you. I rushed this. Hence, you see some, there's a little bit of sparkle around here. But I also want to point out that it appears that some of the acrylic marker also came out. So, my, I'm, I'm going to two-step process this. Um, I'm first going to pour some fabric medium into my palette here. And I'm going to grab the fabric markers. Actually, I'm going to grab the Artuses. Um, and I'm going to show you the back here in a minute and show you that everything that had an Arteza marker on it worked great. The Chinese made acrylic markers, for the most part, they stayed in. So I, I don't really know how much of this is, is due to the unicorn spit pulling the color off when it got washed. Um, but I, I'm, I'm going to go flip back to Arteza, mainly because I know, based on what I saw on the back, that I know I can do this. But I'm also going I apologize for the dog. He sees the squirrels, and he loves to, to, to bark and chase the squirrel. Sorry. Anyway, I'm going to start coloring this with just this bit of yellow, and that's probably not quite the right color. I'm going to pull out an orange here in a minute. I'll just put some of this yellow in. I mean, I will rescue this little little girl because she deserves it. Um, she's way too cute, and I like her, and I do want her on my shirt. All right, so I'm putting a little bit of yellow back in there, and maybe even over here a little bit just to kind of lay down some color. And this is why I do this, y'all. I mean, this is why I experiment like this, is to find what works and what doesn't work so that you don't automatically mess up your work. Now, I'm going to grab an orange here real quick. This is bright orange. And let's come back in. Ah, there we go. Uh, it looks closer to, to, to kind of what I was using yesterday. Let's just put it here. By the way, in case... You don't feel like you're getting ink out of these pens sometimes. If you push them, it, it causes the ink to flow a little bit better. So there's a there's a handy tip for you right there. Okay. Maybe, hmm, let's see here. What else do I have in the way of yellows and oranges? I have lemon yellow. What did I just use here? Bumblebee yellow. Let's put a little bit more yellow right in here on top and I, I I apologize you know I again I, I think I'm I'm hoping people watch this video before they go off and do the same thing I mean this is not this is fixable it's not it's not like it's not like it's unfixable um, it's just disappointing of course because you put all that work and effort into it and have it all washed out nobody wants to go through all that effort twice so I think we'll be able to, to, to make this work. Um, I see some other areas. Actually, I'm going to grab the orange for that one. And I'm going to grab vermilion. It's kind of a... Oops. See that tip? So what I'm going to do here is, just right here on the pie plate, I'm going to hold it down. Eh, at least you're getting something out of this video, hopefully. I hope something's coming out of here. You know, sometimes you have to hold it straight up. Ah, oh, there, I see it coming. So, see there? Now the now the tip has, has a little bit down there. So let's put a little bit of this just right down here. Maybe in here, just a little bit of shadow. 
just get a little bit of depth in there just just to fill it in all right now here's what i'm going to do and again this is what i was talking about a two-step process where i have colored in in fact over the entire cat i'm just going to put down some fabric medium this is straight fabric medium this is mine this is my pearlescent and I'm just saturating this whole thing. Now notice, see the pink didn't come out, but the pink and the green, you know, it stayed in there pretty good. Um, but the, 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 the bling, um, the, the um, unicorn spit did not. So live and learn, that's what we're, we're all about, right? Okay, so I'm gonna coat this pretty good. Just kind of let this settle in. I'm just putting it everywhere. It won't hurt. This is going to dry clear, so it's no big deal, right? And even if you get it outside like that, not a biggie. Of course, it'll add a bit of shimmer to the denim, but that's not going to hurt it. Oops, there's a hair. Probably one of the dog hairs. That happens a lot. Okay, a bit the eye, get the nose, the mouth. Okay, so I've doused it pretty good with the fabric medium. Now what I'm going to do is once again, I'm going to put in that much fabric medium. Okay, so there you have it right there. And I'm going to shake up the Gosling spit that we did yesterday, okay? And I'm going to let's make sure this is the one I used yesterday. It is not. Hang tight. I was busy doing all sorts of accounting work yesterday with these bottles, making sure I account for all my inventory. That's the downside to running a business, y'all. You have to keep track of everything. It's one of the reasons I gave up my quilt shop is I hated doing inventory. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour a whole bunch of the spit in with my fabric medium. And I'm just going to try to mix it as best I can. And it lightens it up a bit, but you can tell it mixes well too. I'm, I am happy about that. That's good. And it doesn't matter that my surface is not 100% dry. I'm just going to go ahead and coat the whole entire area again. This is deja vu, right? Um, but just go ahead and put the spit down with the fabric medium in it. And then we will see how this plays out again. It will have to dry again overnight. I'm not going to wash it again today, but I will do it again tomorrow. Um, just again, get all the areas. I think the ears, oops, the ears got, um, um, it, the color stayed in the ears pretty well. So again, it was the spit that came out, not, and just be careful. I'm, I'm in a hurry, yes, because I'm getting ready for another quilt show, but I did want to get this video done before I got caught up in doing my quilt show stuff. Oh yes, don't I have just such an exciting life, you know? Uh, it is exciting, though. actually. I love getting out and being with people and turning people onto this stuff. So uh, it is it is the fun part. The, the downside sometimes, though, is not having enough time to do all the painting and coloring and testing and stuff like that. But that's all right. We all have that struggle, right? We all have to make make sacrifices on our lives for the things that we love. Okay, so I think I'm pretty well coated. You know, he's back to be looking, she is looking pretty sparkly again. Let me get the, the, the paw coated. And to be frank with you, what I'll probably do is I'll probably come back and put another coat down just to add some more sparkle. Okay. 
there goes my fabric medium. Um, so this, this can work and it worked very well. Uh, let's see if we can get this so you can see just about all the letters. Sorry, the, uh, let me zoom back out here. There we go. So you can see that all the colors, now the ones I was most concerned with, now I will zoom back in, is that kind of fuchsia that I made with the, uh, the opaque, uh, extender, the yellow, I think I used there, the yellow here, those work fantastic. Woohoo. I have now discovered a way to use ink tense pencils on denim. So at least yesterday wasn't a total waste. Um, but we'll manage to figure out with the with the spit. Now I, I want to point something out though. Here is what is, is interesting. And let me see if I can zoom in even further. A little bit more, and I'm gonna push this up. See all that? You see the sparkle in that? That's unicorn spit. So I'm just not sure why it didn't work, but again, I didn't follow the instructions. I'm pretty sure that's one of the reasons why this stuff turned out so good. Now, let's go over just as, as a final part of this video to remind you that the background on each one of these letters was Jacquard metallic paint. The rest of the coloring for the most part was the Arteza, acrylic markers, as well as some of the Chinese markers, and then some of the pinks and the yellow in the flowers was Inktense pencil with opaque fabric extender. Oh no, that pink was actually taking a uh, the color art stuff and mixing it with that. Oh, so we have several different successes. Um, so there you have it. I'll be back once the cat has dried, washed again to show you the results. Okay, everyone, the kitty just came out of the washing machine and Yahoo, all of the unicorn spit is there. So, if you are going to use unicorn spit with fabric, you must mix it with fabric medium. Again, I'll refer to the unicorn spit uh, website. You can go look at their instructions there. The mixture I did on this was about mm, probably 60% fabric medium, 40% uh, unicorn spit, and it looks every bit as good as it did when I threw it into the wash. So, very happy with that. Um, I want to point out, though, and I, I didn't mention this earlier, Jelly Roll Stardust pens will always be my favorite, favorite go-to for bling. If you look at the nose and the eyes, um, I went back and went over both with a green pen up here and a pink pen down here. The sparkle stays in a Jelly Roll pen. Now, I do know that after a while, if you really wash it on hot and you wash it repeatedly, ultimately, mm, probably within a year of washings, it will finally come out. But in the meantime, if you do not have unicorn spit or if you do not have unicorn spit in the color that you are looking for, then try Jelly Roll Stardust pens. They have a clear pen. When you put the clear pen on anything, it will bling up that color without changing the color. So there you have it. Um, my apologies. When I did this on white, I did not notice a degradation in the unicorn spit, but I think from now on, as a universal rule, I will say please use unicorn spit with fabric medium. And to clarify, I did use it with my shimmer, my pearlescent, but I believe you can use it with any fabric medium and it will look just as good as this. So as we now end this whole series on unicorn spit denim, thanks for watching. If you got 
anything out of this series of videos, hit the like and subscribe button and stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.